Well, young African-American men face daunting odds not only in Indianapolis, but around the country, making them more likely to break the law. Statistics show they're more likely to be victims of homicide, less likely to be employed, and more likely to be referred to juvenile court, and less likely to graduate from high school and attend college than other white counterparts. But Indianapolis is working to beat those odds through a national program that's being called Tops in the Country. And Sunrise reporter Carrie Klein joins us now with more on this story. Carrie, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Bruce and Julia. The program is called My Brother's Keeper. It was launched by the White House under President Barack Obama's administration to beat those depressing odds we just saw. Well, since February of last year, more than 200 communities around the country have taken on this national challenge, making it a local priority as well one major way to reduce crime. The program here in Indianapolis launched last October and it is being called one of the top two in the nation. Indy's action plan to assist African American boys from cradle to college and career readiness is just part of its successful launch. The program also has the backing, support and participation of more than 100 local agencies, organizations and companies partnering to offer significant resources, financial and otherwise. And it's a comprehensive strategy and it's a roadmap to success um, that boys and young men of color and every child facing obstacles know that they can achieve their dreams. Um, and you know, your, your plan is a signal uh, to our children and to the city that they do indeed matter. My Brother's Keeper alongside the Your Life Matters campaign are both administered by Indiana Black Expo. And coming up here on Sunrise, we're going to talk with those in the trenches live who are rolling out some big things here in Indianapolis to turn lives around and hopefully the crime rate with it. Back to you.